isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 12. Division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers. Objective. This lesson will help you to demonstrate understanding of division of whole numbers. You are also expected to divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers with and without remainders. Let's start our lesson by defining what is division. Division is a method of distributing a group of things into equal parts. It is one of the four basic operations of arithmetic, which gives a fair result of sharing. It simply means splitting into equal parts or groups. And we are also using division in our day-to-day -day life. Let's take a look on this division problem. As you can see, there are three numbers, and each has a special name. The number being divided is called the dividend. The number that the dividend is divided by is called the divisor. And the result of the division is called the quotient. There are three ways we can write division problems. We could write it like this, or like this, or like this. Don't get confused because all of these ways means the same. Let's try to visualize division. Let's imagine we have 12 balls and 3 people will get the same number of balls. How many balls each person will get if it will be shared equally? To get the answer, you can divide the balls in 3 ways. 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4. Each person should get 4 balls. To check if your answer is correct, remember that division is the opposite of multiplication. We can simply multiply 3 times 4 is equals to 12. This means that our answer is correct. Let's take a look on this example. We have 15 cookies that we need to equally divide it into 3 pupils. So we have 15 divided by 3 is equals to 5. To check if our answer is correct, remember that division is the opposite of multiplication. So multiply our divisor to the quotient. So 3 times 5 is equals to 15. You can also divide 15 by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is equals to 3. And 5 times 3 is 15. You can see that this number will give us 4 related facts. If you can remember one of those facts, it is easy to figure out the answer to the others. Next, we have 32 by 8. So 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. And 8 times 4 is equal to 32. We can also divide 32 divided by 4 is equals to 8. We can multiply 8 times 4 is equals to 32. So we know that the 8 is the right answer to the problem 32 divided by 4. Let's take a look on one more problem. 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. We can check that by looking some related facts in multiplication. So 3 times 2 is equals to 6. We can also divide 6 to 2, which is 6 divided by 2 is 3, because they are related facts. 
This time, let's try to divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers without remainder. In solving this kind of division problem, you need to remember these steps. Compare, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. Let's try to divide 532 by 4. 532 is our dividend and 4 is our divisor. And we're gonna solve for the quotient. Step 1 is to compare the divisor to the first number at the left of the dividend. 5 is greater than 4. If the first digit in the dividend is bigger than the divisor, divide the partial dividend which is 5 by the divisor 4. The answer is 1. So we will write the quotient 1 above 5. Step 3 is to multiply 1 by the divisor 4. As we know, 4 times 1 is equals to 4, so we write 4 below 5 and then subtract it from 5. So we have 5 minus 4 is equals to 1. Now, bring down the next digit, which is 3. After bringing down the digit, we repeat the steps from 1 to 5 until there are no more digits to bring down. So here we again compare 13 and 4. 13 is greater than 4, so we can now divide 13 by 4. The nearest product in the table of 4 is 12. So we write 3 in the quotient above and then multiply 3 times 4 is equals to 12. Write 12 under 13. Next is subtract 12 from 13, which is equals to 1. Now, bring down the next digit, 2. Here we again compare 12 to 4. 12 is greater than 4, so we can now proceed dividing 12 by 4. The exact product in the multiplication facts is 12. So we can write 3 in the quotient above 2. Then multiply 3 times 4 is equals to 12. Write 12 below 12 and then subtract. So the answer is 0. To check if your answer is correct, multiply the quotient to the divisor and the answer should be the same as the value of the dividend. So 133 times 4 4 times 3 is 12. We write 2 in the product and then carry 1. 4 times 3 is 12 again plus 1 is 13. So we write 3 on the product and carry again 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So the product is 532. As you can see, the product that we got and the dividend are the same. It means that 133. Let's try to solve 1215 divided by 27. 1215 is the dividend, 27 is our divisor, and we have to solve for the quotient. This time, our divisor is in two digits. So, compare the divisor to the first two digits at the left of the dividend. So, 12 is less than 27. This means we have to include the next digit. So, 121 is now greater than 27. Since the partial dividend is bigger than the divisor, divide the partial dividend which is 121 by the divisor 27. The nearest product in the table of 27 is 108. So we will write the quotient 4 above the tens digit 1. Step 3 is to multiply 4 by the divisor 27. So 27 times 4 is equals to 108 and then write 108 below 121. Subtract. 121 minus 108, the answer is 13. 
Now, bring down the next digit which is 5. After bringing down the digit, we repeat the steps from 1 to 5 until there are no more digits to bring down. So here we again compare 135 and 27. 135 is greater than 27. So we can now divide 135 by 27. The exact product in the table of 27 is 135. So we write 5 in the quotient above the 1's digit 5. Then multiply 5 times 27 is equals to 135. Write it under 135. Then subtract 135 minus 135 is 0. To check if your answer is correct, multiply the quotient to the divisor and the answer should be the same as the value of the dividend. So 45 times 27, 7 times 5 is 35. Write 5 on the quotient and then carry 3. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3 is 31. Then 2 times 5 is equals to 10. So you write 0 on the partial product and then carry 1. And then 2 times 4 is equals to 8, plus 1 is 9. So bring down 5. 1 plus 0 is equals to 1. And then 3 plus 9 is 12. As you can see, the product that we get is the same as the value of the dividend. Therefore, 45 is the correct answer. Now, it's your time to solve on your own. Provide the correct answer inside the colored boxes. I'll give you 5 minutes. Your timer starts now.
Time's up. Let's check your work. 4004 divided by 2, 143. Number 2. This time, we need to find the divisor. So, we just simply divide 3,115 divided by 89 is 35. Next, number 3. 6,592 divided by 32 is equals to 206. Then, for number 4, we need to again find the divisor. Simply divide 2,124 by 12. The answer is 177. And then, for number 5, 3,920 divided by 16 is equals to 245. That's all for today. If you learned from this video, don't forget to enroll in my channel by hitting the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, ang mahirap na mat problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Until our next lesson, bye-bye!